Irish government has announced the largest ever expansion plans to their immigration processes, making it easier for foreign workers to come in. Ireland has stated that it needs a minimum 40,000 workers every year and probably more hitting close to 55 to 60,000 foreign workers to fill its labor shortages. So in December 2023 and Jan 2024, a host of changes were announced. And today we're going to discuss that apart from discussing how you can get a job in Ireland in 2024. So if the Irish coasts have been calling out to you, this video is for you. Stick around. My name is Nadina Gori and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time stopping by, thank you so much for doing so. I'm a current content creator and I like talking about different pathways to explore the global world personally and professionally. And today we're going to talk about Ireland. A couple of months ago, we also did our Ireland masterclass where we had three or four amazing mentors, people who had found jobs in Ireland, were living there, had been there for less number of years, mid number of years, more number of years, how they were seeing more and more foreign workers come in and we gathered a lot of insights. Add to that, all the massive changes that the government announced recently has gotten me supremely excited about considering Ireland as one of the top destinations for any expat. Today, I'm going to divide my video into three segments. First two, we'll be talking about the two major immigration changes that are coming about. And the last one, we'll be talking about how you can find a job in Ireland, what are the resources that you can use and which companies are actually hiring and which are the best months to apply. So let's start with segment number one, which is the story of last month. Effective December 2023, a lot of other occupations were added in the critical shortage occupation list. For newbies, every country maintains a shortage occupation list. This means that occupations mentioned on that list are in extreme shortage in that particular country. And foreign workers working in that occupation will be given more preference and maybe some perks to move to that particular country. Apart from this, every country has its own set of perks for people working in the shortage occupation list. I particularly like Ireland because you end up getting a PR in just two years if you work on a critical shortage occupation list. If you are somebody who's working in an occupation that's in heavy shortage in Ireland, you get your PR in just two years. Also, whichever employment permit you are eligible for, whether it's the general employment or critical skill shortage, you are eligible to apply for your own work visa. So you don't need any sponsorship whatsoever. This change was introduced a couple of years ago. We've covered it extensively in our Ireland masterclass. I leave the link to it below so go check it out as well but yes Ireland is one of the very few countries that gives foreign workers complete authority and ownership to apply for their own work visa and you can get your PR in as less as two years now talking of the big change effective December 2023 11 more occupations were added on the critical shortage occupation list apart from this 32 different occupations became eligible for employment permit so this is for the general employment permit previously all these occupations were in the ineligible list so Ireland maintains a list of occupations that are completely ineligible for work permits but 32 of those occupations have been removed from there and added to the general employment permit coming to the second segment of our video which is the second big change that was announced as of jan 2024 the irish government wants foreign workers to make more money by working in ireland which is why the salary thresholds for general employment permits were raised to 34,000 euros annually from 30,000 euros and what if you don't make this money well don't worry because salary thresholds have been removed for graduate positions and language specialists. So if you're in either of those two categories, it doesn't matter what you earn, you are eligible for a work visa. For a critical shortage occupation, you will now be making at least 38,000 euros annually instead of 32,000 euros, which was the previous lamp. Further, if you're getting a transfer from within your company to move to Ireland, you'll make at least four to 6,000 euros annually extra every year. Lastly, healthcare workers, caregivers, and workers who work in agriculture, horticulture, meat, dairy, all these industries, have also seen a salary increase. All of this was done to make sure that foreign workers are earning enough to sustain themselves in a situation where costs are constantly rising. So I think this is a great decision because the government is really looking out for foreign workers also. What I'm also excited by is that the DETE, which is the government wing of getting employment and ensuring permits and all in the country, they're talking about increasing the annual salary threshold by at least five to 7,000 euros annually by 2025. So who wouldn't be up for making more money to do the same job? As for me, I'm definitely Definitely up for it. And thank you, Ireland, for taking these steps to make sure that foreign workers are well protected within your boundaries. Now let's talk about segment number three. How do you start looking for jobs? Well, obviously my first and most foremost favorite place to look for a job would be LinkedIn. 
I think a lot of opportunities are always posted there and definitely a place that you should explore. My second favorite website is jobs.ie, which is the government portal. It's not great in terms of its UI UX, definitely not user friendly at all. I don't enjoy being there, but a lot more opportunities there as well. Always remember you're able to apply for your own work visa in Ireland. So taking away the burden of visa sponsorship from an employer will really help your case. To give you official government stats, more than 7,000 Irish companies have sponsored foreign workers last year and intend on doing so this year as well. We've covered this whole list of Irish companies who are looking for foreign workers along with the best months to apply in Ireland and we also tell you how many visas were given in which month by which employer so you can target your application accordingly depending on which employer fits your field and you can go and look into that spreadsheet the excel spreadsheet that we've given as a part of the masterclass and you can see when are the work visas issued in your field as mentioned before i leave a link to the island masterclass in the description box so make sure you check it out and on that note another amazing video has come to an end and so has my time in canada i am officially leaving tomorrow for a six to seven week long trip i'm going to be meeting so many of you in my go global tour if the tours have already started you will see some snips floating around and i'm sincerely hoping that i'm able to meet you in some part the world. Please wish me luck with this lengthy travel that's coming up for me and I wish that you stay safe, stay healthy and keep smiling and keep achieving all the goals that you want to. Until I see you again, it is a sign and from me. Stay safe, take care of yourself. Namaste.